Hey everybody, Jason Dubray here, Sterilizer Autoclave Solutions. Thank you so much for tuning in to this week's edition of Tech Talk. Uh, today's live phone call that we're going to be going over was from David Lipton uh, from Michigan Dental Specialist. They gave a call in on a Statum 2000. They were having some cycle fault issues. Uh, today our special guest is going to be Ian. He is a highly trained, factory trained technician on SICAN units. Ian, why don't you come on up here? Wave to the camera, give a hey, hi, there we go. Um, so, question for you, uh, on this phone call, they called in, uh, typically they don't ha they don't know their issue. On this one, they knew that they were getting a cycle fault seven and a cycle fault 26. Can you walk us through how you would diagnose that or confirm that with the customer? Well, first what I did is I looked up both those codes. There are some common denominators between both of them, um, and both of those refer to pretty much preventative maintenance parts. Okay. Um, heavy, heavy steam leaks can give you either a cycle fault 26, a cycle fault 7, or a cycle fault 3. Um, I asked them when the last time the cassette seal was changed, and it had been a while. They were getting heavy steam coming from the front. Well, and that's a great point. Let me stop you right there. So as far as a cassette seal goes, the manufacturer recommendation is? Every six months. Every or six months cycles. or 500 cycles. So for those of you at home, that cassette seal needs to be changed uh, every six months or 500 cycles. So he ended up purchasing a cassette seal from us. And also with that PM kit that he got, he got a compressor filter, which is back here, and also a check valve. Your check valve is important because that will keep water from getting from your boiler into your compressor. And again, Ian, um, manufacturer recommendations on that check valve? Every two years. Every two years. Okay. And then uh, on the air filter? Uh, six months, 500 cycles. So equal at the, at the point the cassette seal should be done, the air filter should be changed. Correct. Okay. And then yeah, every two months. years, the check valve? Yes. Excellent. So our two year PM kit comes with a check valve. Your check valve is located on the back of your boiler and it stops water from getting into your compressor. It is very important to change that on a minimum every two years because if not, then you are looking over $1,000 for a replacement compressor. Every six months or 500 cycles, you should be changing your compressor filter. You do not have to take the cover off to change this. There's a single screw on the back of your compressor that will remove a plate. You can remove that filter and your cassette seal should be changed every six months or 500 cycles as well. Ian, thank you so much for joining us today on this episode of uh, Tech Talk. We appreciate you very much. Um, all of you out there watching, we appreciate you. And uh, if you have any issues with your autoclaves or sterilizers, please feel free to give our free tech support line uh, a call, 704-966-1650.